While mattress shopping, Mark called Wells Fargo and asked to speak with his wife after he had already reported her missing to the police. Mark then got off the phone with Lori's employer and called 911 for a second time. His story was a jumbled, dizzying mess. And when police searched his home, they found Lori's purse and car keys. How did she drive anywhere without keys? And why would she leave her purse behind? This was two years after the tragic events of the Scott Peterson case. And once again, a pregnant woman was missing after her husband's threads of deception would slowly unravel. The police knew Mark had something to do with his wife's disappearance, and he was their main suspect from the start. This interrogation, never before seen on YouTube, was just hours after Lori Hacking was reported.